In this video we'll be applying some protection settings to this molded case circuit breaker. This particular model is a Siemens Centron unit fitted with an electronic tripping unit ETU 550 LSI. The LSI relates to the protection tripping curves that can be entered, L being the long time delay over current protection, S being the short time delayed short circuit protection, and I being the instantaneous short circuit protection. First we confirm that we've got the right unit, select the right study. We call these protection grading studies normally, but I think they're now called selectivity studies. We check the IN for the module. The IN in this case is 630 amps. That's the maximum rating of the unit itself. Once we're happy, we've got the right unit. We conduct the first test to make sure the actual breaker trips. As these units aren't powered externally from an auxiliary supply, we have to use a little handheld battery unit that has a trip function on it. Select the breaker to on. Make sure it trips. That's fine. Now we want to take it to the reset position and all the way back to on again to make sure the breaker does reset okay and trip it again. Okay, happy with that. So let's have a look at this. So we've got I1 and a little display there with a little meter on it, a little icon that shows these are measured values. So you've got line currents in phase one, two and three. You've got the neutral current can be displayed. Right, the first protection setting we want to adjust is the IR value. At the moment it's on the minimum 250 amps. By pressing the OK button, it brings up a little pencil symbol. And then we can edit this value by using the up and down arrows. If you hold them down, it scrolls through the settings quickly. We want to set this one to corresponding to 345 amps for the overload, long time overcurrent protection. Once we reach the setting we want, we press OK, it takes it out of edit mode. And now we need the delay time for this function. This one we want to set to 5.4 seconds. So again, we press the OK button to enter edit mode, adjust the value, then press OK, take it out of edit mode. Next is the thermal memory. So we're moving on now to the short time delayed short circuit current protection. The first setting being ISD. Which we want to set to 680 amps. So into edit mode again, enter the value, OK. Next setting is the delay time for this current, which will be 0.32 seconds. TSD, 0.32, enter the value, take it out of edit mode, toggle down to the next setting is the I squared T function. Let's switch that off. The next one we're interested in is the instantaneous short circuit protection current, which for the report corresponds to 1,300 amps. So that's the instantaneous trip. Back into edit mode, 1,300 amps. Okay. run through the settings we don't need and back to the first measurement figure and that's it that ETU now unit will now retain those values job done I hope you found this video of interest if you did please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for some more videos from the industrial electrical environment